Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I am Twisted Logic, and I'm going to be continuing the tutorial Let's Play. I'm not 100% sure what needs to be done right now. I'm just going to unpause the game and kind of see what I can do. The Farmer's Workshop here, I'm going to just manually unsuspend thread. Spin thread. Got to get some ropes made for the second well and for the... Mega Beast trap up here. Now I could put the Mega Beast in a cage trap. So I got some more migrants here. And uh, we'll just let them come in. Take a look at them in a couple minutes in Dwarf Therapist. This bridge, this um, bridge and lever I'm gonna test. So I'm gonna just pull the, pull the lever. Make sure this lever is attached to this bridge here. Okay, great. So I'll pull that again. And I'm gonna go back to W for the burrows and just um, expand this out a little bit. So enter to define the burrow. And you're just going to make sure that the levers are inside the burrow. Refuse stockpile as well. Now normally I'll leave the space next to the exterior bridge. Um, not part of the burrow so they don't stand there when it's closing. Remove this outer wall. Add this area here and this area up here. That was a mistake. R to erase. R again to paint. Let's come off this way just in case. Okay, so this is all pretty full. So I'm going to pull this lever. And now that's closed. And so if a swimming monster comes in, they try to break this door, there's a wall behind it, and they can't get through the bridge here. And we'll smooth stone this as much as we can over here. gonna pause the game and we'll go to Dwarf Therapist. Okay, so I'm gonna read the dwarves and uh, sort by migration wave. Okay, we got nine this time and this was uh, Das Tot here was the newborn.
So once I get um, once I get some more um, another trade caravan, I can get some more miners uh, by creating some picks after I either buy the picks or make an anvil and then start making or buy an anvil and then start making picks. Okay, so this is the Dwarf Fortress wiki, and I'm on the um, latest version here uh, on the Guildhall tab. I'm just going to read a little bit about this Guildhall. Um, dwarves of a particular profession socialize, share skills with each other, entertain each other. So ten, ten dwarves or more of one skill is going to want a Guildhall. Fortress mode here, designate locations. Okay, we already did that. Okay, it doesn't tell us what we this is a this article is um can be improved, so maybe if we discover something we can add to the wiki here. Um I kinda just assumed that they needed uh coffers. We'll see if something comes up. I don't know, they may need tables and chairs. I feel like if I build those, um, they're going to start eating in there. Which is fine, I guess. And I think I can even go into the... Um, let me go back to Dwarf Fortress. Okay, so if I go to Locations here, L. Now I can go up and down this list here with the up and down uh, I got a temple farmers guild craft dwarf guild so I can set a messenger here and then um, that'll be for the civilizations menu if I set a messenger yeah I'll just set um, do I want to set this? I'll just set lore here And also, maybe I'll set a couple messengers. Nish. And Tullin. So I'll set three messengers here. We're not going to need those until later. If I go back over here to the craft dwarf. So it looks like I need to increase the value of the room. I could press R down here to change the restrictions. Citizens only for these um, for these two guild halls. But I need to increase the wealth of the room. So once they smooth stone it, hopefully that'll go up a little bit. And uh, maybe I'll add like display cases with some artifacts in there. I could add some statues. Tables and chairs will increase it, yeah. So I believe that this lever should be hooked up now. I think it was the second one. No, oh, unsuspend that. So these socks now, and the gloves, I'm starting to fill up this stockpile here. So I'm gonna, this room here, I'm gonna make a new stockpile. Dig out this corner and build a door I'll wait till this doors I'll wait till this corner is dug out I'm gonna build a stockpile there that is for kinda like clothes so P G for finished goods 
and the bins are gonna be set. So S for settings. Or quality artifact is disabled. The type here, I'm gonna forbid everything, and then armor, footwear, headwear, handwear, legwear, backpacks, quivers. Two flasks too, I guess. And then um, this stockpile here. Finish goods, and then we'll disable flask, armor, footwear, handwear, handwear, headwear, legs, backpacks, and quippers. Okay. Also go into the settings of this and poor quality will turn off artifacts, unfinished goods and weapons, traps and armor. We'll find this room here and R to resize the room and we'll just make this as big as we can. Build the door there. Now we'll resize it. Build some tables, planning mode. chairs planning mode on Also make another stockpile back here of finished goods. It's a little too big, so X. P X. Go to the settings of this. Just goblets. Also make a um, food stockpile along the wall here. Actually, I'll make it. I'll make it extra large like this. And now I'll go to X, so pile X, and then get rid of the center. Now, if I click on this, it's one stockpile still, even though it's separated. And I'm going to go into the settings of this one for food, and I'm just going to forbid everything except drinks permit and I'll disable prepared meals and then I'm going to press T for take from a stockpile or workshop move this over the top of this one enter T again we'll go to the still T again and we'll go to the second still enter so now this stockpile here, it's separated, but it's treated as one stockpile. It's going to take from this stockpile. It's also going to take from the two stills. Deny this petition. And 
so now they're already starting to fill it up. J for jobs. I'm just going to take a look here what everybody's doing. So we got detail wool and floors, plant gathering, sleeping, suspended, suspended construction here. Okay, those are the um, unknown material tables. So these are going to be the planning, planning mode tables for the hall and the chairs. And the workflows are also going to be in this list. So it doesn't look like the work list is too long. We'll just uh, maybe follow one of the dwarves here. Just follow Kib. Trader to come. Okay, I'm gonna go to DF Hack and I'm just gonna type in resume all and that's gonna unsuspend all the suspended constructions. So 20 buildings are resumed. Go to status and then animals. Let's see what we got in this list. Horse I can slaughter. Another horse I can slaughter. Water buffalo gets butchered. We got a puppy. And I can slaughter these turkey hens and gobblers. But that door is going to be locked until um, the kind of the pulps are grown up. So I'll just leave it like that for now. needs to be completed before I can build this. And now it is. So they're getting their goblets out of the stockpile here and going either go into one of the locations of the alcohol. Looks like we still got some alcohol in this room that they're going to. We got another goblet up here and we're going to smooth this over. Now, did we build any... for settings, stocks, enhanced view, rope, okay, okay, so I have pigtail here, add processed plants, that's what I missed, so P,
thread of any plant. A range of this. to 200. So they're going to grow the pigtail, store it in the um, pigtail plant stockpile, bring it to the farmer's workshop to process. Then they're going to weave that into cloth. Then they are going to make rope and socks. Hold V for chain, planning mode. Let's put one right there. this whole layer except for the inside of the farms fish. We really need to get shells from the fishing. And then I believe we can use those shells to make soap later on as well. But there's a lot of work to do in the fortress right now and uh, I'm just gonna let the game run until uh, maybe something happens or most of the work's complete. Okay, got a uh, new well here, and looks like this rope is completed, so I'm going to uh, assign an animal, put one of these kittens on there, and everybody's still working, there's still a lot of work to do, I added some more floor down here, on top of the brook, I got to add another one here. more mason shops here to help with uh, block production and I also mapped out some bedrooms down here which I will connect now oh okay so we got a caravan just arrived looks like a caravan came from the south this time that's all right, we'll keep this um, keep this in the same direction. So uh, hopefully they have some nice anvils and maybe some picks and axes. Go to Z for status and 
and uh, let's see here. Meat and fish are a little low. Drinks are okay. No weapons in the fortress. So now the um, auto trade on this stockpile should kick in in a second. Oh, I gotta turn that on. Auto trade with Shift T. Range of this, I'm gonna turn up a little bit to uh, maybe 300 to 500. Request the trader. Oh good, I saw him bring an anvil in. They usually bring anvils. I'm just gonna press G for goods and see if there's anything else I wanna sell. sell some of my wine as well. Uh, stockpile here and um, remove all the bins from the stockpile so I don't get confused and uh, pull one of these bins by accident because it's pretty close to the um, trade depot here when you go up and down a stair that just counts as one tile away so that's one two three four We got some migrants as well, which is great. So I'm going to press T to trade. And over on my side here, I'm going to press Shift to enter. And when the bin is selected to trade, everything in the bin will be traded. And now I'm going to press um, Q to search and anvil. So I'm going to get both of these steel anvils. Q again and then backspace. See what else they have. Now if I wanted, if I wanted all this glass, I could hold down Shift and then just press down. So we'll get that glass. Press Q and pick. They only have steel picks; so they're a little expensive. You'll notice that the trader profit resets, and when I back out of the search goes back to normal. Uh, let's see if they have any axes. Steel battle axe. We'll get this axe, this bismuth bronze battle axe. We'll get that. And it looks like I can get some little bit more things, so Maybe some rope. Okay, the profit and the value is about even. So I can get a little bit more, a few more things, and then um, maybe this cloth bin. Let's see if they'll trade that. Enter. Now, take the cloth bin away and maybe like. Three cloth. Ah, oh, wonderful. Thank you for your business. Excellent. Go back to the trade depot and press R to no longer need the trader at the depot.
Okay, we got a strange mood. We'll just follow this uh, Kivish here and we'll see what he does. Okay, he took over a cloth workshop. Rough gems, yarn, cloth. Um, so let's see if I can still trade. I'm going to request a trader here and goods. gets here in time. Okay. Trade. Okay, and I'm going to go down to cloth bins here. I want some yarn cloth. Whatever's um, orange in this list here, I'll turn off this glass. traded for it. Whatever's orange in this list was made in my fortress and whatever's kind of like grayish color was from outside the fortress. Now hopefully they have some yarn here. Silk. So they have leather, silk, silk. Here we go, wool cloth. We're gonna trade for this bin. I'm gonna have to trade the glass that I just bought. I don't want to micromanage the trade over here. I guess we'll get see if we can. There's another wool cloth here. Spider silk. And we'll see if that trades. Enter. Excellent. So great, he just went to pick it from the trade depot. There he is. Follow him. Okay, great. He started his construction. What's this petition? I need to deny. I got him digging out this area as well underneath the um, pyramid we're building. And um, I also set uh, two zones here. I'll set the second zone here to make us outdoor farm. Well, it'll be indoor, but it'll be light. Enter. Pit and pond. Pond is not full. So this will be um, inside light above ground farm. Maybe we can grow some whip vine or something in there. Shit. Like I uh, accidentally breached the stream here, 
So let's see if I can do some damage control before this uh, gets flooded.
Okay, so we accidentally um, dug into the brook here and started flooding a little bit. Uh, not too bad. We got some damage control over here if we can get it done. Uh, we're not really sure yet. We're going to see what happens. Uh, find out next time. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more videos. In the next episode, we'll see if the damage control efforts work. And then we may have to get rid of some excess water as well. Thanks for watching.